Hi, it's Allison from East Cobb Tutoring Center, and we are going to talk about graphing trig functions with phase shifts. The method is the same for all trig graphs, so we're going to take a look at just one example, and then you can use the method and apply it to the other functions. So we're going to start with this equation, y equals 3 sine 4, let's see, oops, I didn't mean to put a 4 there. There we go. 3 sine, there we are, 2x minus pi over 4. All right. Um, the first thing that I want to mention, let me put some parentheses on here, is that in order to determine the period and the phase shift, we need to write this part of our function in factored form. So the way it stands now is not going to work for the method I'm going to show you. So we're going to begin by taking the 2 out of there and putting it on the outside of the parentheses. That'll leave me with x minus pi over 8. All right. So let's record the important stuff. The amplitude is 3. The period is 2 pi over 2, which is just pi. And the new thing, the phase shift, is this number. And we use the opposite of the sign. So if it says negative, we're really going to the right because it's a transformation. So we're going to go to the right um, pi over 8 degrees, pi over 8 radians. Alrighty, so um, what I'm going to do to graph this thing, and this is the part that is going to be the same for all of them, I'm going to graph this one time using a dotted line graph, graphing absolutely all of it except for the phase shift. So 3 sine 2x is what I'm going to graph, and then I'll deal with the phase shift later. So let's see, 3 and negative 3 is my amplitude. The period is pi, half of that half of that times it by 3. So I'm going to start on the origin because sine begins on the origin and I'm just doing a dotted line sketch to show where it would be without the phase shift. Now I'm going to take all of my points and move them pi over 8 to the right. On my graph paper one um, space is pi over 4 so I'm going to be moving these all half of a space. Here, here, and here. And then I just connect the dots. There we are. All right, so what I would recommend is you graph it with the amplitude and the period change with a dotted line, and then just move it point by point for the phase shift. I hope that helps.